welcome back so today we will be looking at how we can log in or sign up to a random website using selenium so this will be our further topic for web scrapping so let's get into it how to automatically log in to a website using selenium for that we will need two things first is selenium and second is web driver so just install selenium to your editor and uh, web driver as well so i will show you how you can install web driver from the chrome browser so let's get into it here we are on the chrome browser and you can see you can install web driver for chrome so if you right click on this you can see and download any latest version of it and you will find the Linux, the Mac, and the Windows version. You download the suitable version for you and put it in a safe place on your PC or laptop. Let's get to the editor to write some code. To tell you that what is WebDriver does, is that it is used to automate the web browsers basically you can simulate some actions like clicking the button or filling the form or navigate between the web pages and what is the work for selenium selenium is basically a software testing framework we can say an open source software testing framework that allows to automate the web browsers that's it we can use it for web scrapping as well or data extraction as well. So let's import some necessary libraries. So here we have imported WebDriver and the options from Selenium WebDriver. Also the buy from Selenium WebDriver to extract the elements from web pages like by class name, by ID, or by CSS selector. We'll be using CSS selector for it. Now we want the username or password to log into website. So I will be using some dummy data over here. You can use your actual credentials of username and password. We'll be logging to uh, my GitHub account. Let's write the URL for it. The below code I'm writing is for basically to keep the browser open. So what happens that if you don't write this code, your web driver default behavior is that after executing, it will close itself. So the browser will be closed automatically. So to keep that open, to bypass that behavior, we have to write these two lines of code. After that, create the object of WebDriver, that is driver, and use it further. We will implicitly wait for two seconds after opening the, after creating the object, till opening the URL. After that, we will find elements on the web page to send our keys like username and password. We will be using CSS selector for that. And we will be creating for login and password and submit button separately. As you can see, and after all this, we can just Print that we have logged in, and after logged in, we can take the user to our home page or the profile page. I will go to my profile page that is akshotekam slash akshotekam endpoint, and that's it. Let's run what we have achieved and see if 
it is working or not. So here we can see that we logged into our GitHub account and uh, that's it. We have successfully done our task. So that's it. We can automatically log into any website using Selenium. I hope you liked it. Keep learning. Thank you.